Hey, this is Riley Griffiths. I'm Ryan Lee. Joel Courtney, and you're watching the Super 8 trailer on Movie Pilot. Ich habe nichts gegen deine Freunde, ich mag sie. Aber vieles hat sich für uns einfach geändert. Ich muss Charles bei seinem Film helfen. Du kannst gerne deine Zeit mit Kindern verbringen, die nicht mit Kameras und Monsterschminke rumlaufen. Okay, da drin sieht es jetzt vielleicht eher aus wie bei der Beerdigung von meiner Oma. Ist es aber nicht. Das ist eine, ja, ein ganz edles Hotel hier in London. Und äh, ich bin hier, um äh, Interviews zu machen. Und zwar vom neuen Film von J.J. Abrahams. Genau, der Star Trek gedreht hat und der hinter Los steckt. Und äh, wir wollen ihm heute mal ein bisschen auf den Zahn fühlen. Worum geht es eigentlich in Super 8? Can you pitch me the movie in like 30 seconds? Wow, well, um, Super 8's basically about a group of friends and um, it also has that, you know, first love aspect in it as well and it's about... Six kids making a zombie movie and one night when they're filming they're at this train depot and this, tr and this truck turns onto the tracks and has a head-on collision with the train. A little bit of everything, adventure, mystery, darkness. Uh, suspense. I mean, train cars are going everywhere. We're we're so scared. We're freaking out out of our minds, and we're we're just trying to get out of there alive. There's explosions all around us, and once everything's over, we finally make it out. Their journey together and all of the the different you know emotions that bring them closer together, and sort of it, it changes their lives forever as well. <laughs> it's fun because I asked the same questions to the boys, and they were like, "Ah, oh, there's this big action, and everything's exploding, and that's like." like <laughs> and two, you're gonna say, "What kind of movie was that?" Oh yeah, that was a great movie. Yeah, welcome to the world. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Your character is I won't say a bit of a jerk, but he comes off tough in the in the beginning of the movie and was it hard to be so hard on Joel when he's almost like crying uh No, it was enjoyable. I love nothing more than yelling at kids. That is a pleasure of mine. Was it tough to be really the only female role that matters in, in, in the movie <laughs> with, with all the boys and all the, well, the, the um, grown-ups are also mostly men, so... Yeah, it was, uh, I had the best time. I was like one of the guys, for sure. I played football with them. I was actually really good. I scored a touchdown. <laughs> I will just yell at him. It's enjoyable. Especially because those kids kept doing ding dong ditch on me the whole time we were in Virginia. So I never knew who was, you know, you'd hear bang, bang, bang. I'd go to the door, I'd open up, and all you'd hear was. I can never catch them. Wir kriegen Anrufe von Leuten, denen Hunde aus dieser Gegend zugelaufen sind, aber die Anrufe stammen nicht von hier. Lucy! Als wären sie einfach alle weggerannt. Ich habe Sachbeschädigung, ich habe Diebstahl. Und ich habe jetzt neun vermisste Personen. So this movie is pretty much a love letter to amateur filmmaking, kids getting into in making films. Um, whether at some time point when you see the latest development like YouTube and kids making their own movies with uh, like Final Cut and stuff, were you ever jealous of of, the, of them saying, "Wow, well, why didn't I have that?" Uh, completely. Yeah. No. When I look and see what people are able to do technology now with sort of at-home equipment, uh, it, it, it's mind-blowing, you know. The best visual effect you could do when I was a kid was scratch the emulsion off the film to make little laser blasts or, you know, glowing eyes for a creature, and it was inaccurate and looked abysmal every time. And I didn't even know what a Super 8 camera was when I, when I started shooting, so JJ had to explain it to all of us. and. Um, and he showed us how it worked, and he explained that he was one of those kids that he made zombie movies with the Super 8 camera, Steven as well. We can like, we can like upload like videos from our cameras to yeah. Facebook, you Yeah, know? back then, um, whenever they tried to like edit the movies or anything, they had to cut the, they had to cut the film and yeah. tape it over and everything, and now we just got, we got it all at a click of a mouse. It's great for everyone to express themselves and, and experiment, and certainly the technology that's available to people will allow those who would have never been able to tell stories on film to do so. Actually, when we did Super 8, we got to make our own movie because um, the case in which is shown in the credits, is, which is the movie that we're making inside Super 8, we got to write that. JJ let us write all the scenes, all the lines, everything, and we actually shot that with the Super 8 camera. So all of us can say that we've made 
a movie, right? A lot of the older guys like me get real nostalgic about Super 8 because it like feels like an 80s movie. Yeah. And it's like all the movies I've been grown up. Um, have you seen any of the classic 80s movies? Yeah. Can you still enjoy them or is it more like, whoa, the pacing so slow? And I definitely think that uh, kids these days Oh, I say that. <laughs> <laughs> that we definitely take like movies like um for like, like Halloween, yeah, for granted. Thank you. I love to cry in movies, so E.T. was, you know, it's a classic, of course, and then The Goonies. I mean, you have to see them, and I think that um, for my generation, there needs to be a new one of those, and I think that Super 8 could be that. Do you have a, a favorite movie from, from that era, or maybe general, a, a, a favorite kids' adventure movie? I think that I would uh, I'd probably have to say The Goonies. The Goonies for me. I love The Goonies. Kill a Mockingbird. I loved that movie. E.T. Yeah. I, I love it. I love E.T. I'd probably have to say E.T. because I cried the whole time. The list is endless, but uh, Steven Spielberg is, uh, you know, uh, it was a hero to me. We müssen dieses Ding finden. Ich habe kein gutes Gefühl dabei. Lauf! And if you had one movie for the rest of your life to watch, would it be To Kill a Mockingbird or would it be any other movie? Lawrence of Arabia. I'm a big David Lean fan. That's the movie that's going to play at my wake. The Seven Year Itch with Marilyn Monroe. That would be it. <laughs> Super 8! Yes, <laughs> Super 8. <laughs>